This is what global warming and climate change looks like. What type of animals did you guys save? We saved everything. <laughs> we saved cows and donkeys and bulls and pigs and horses. We saved everything that we could find. Luckily, we had a lot of carrots and the bulls loved the carrots. And we were looking at the bulls going, oh my gosh, how are we going to move these bulls? And somebody just whipped out a carrot and just had them go along and they would eat a carrot and then they'd eat another one. Did you figure out like what causes fire? But ultimately the cause of these fires is climate change. Climate change is being caused in large part by animal agriculture. So when people say they're helpless, they're not helpless. The most powerful thing they can do is not eat animals or their byproducts. This is basically what climate change looks like. This is where we were saving the animals. This is where Malibu suffered the most. As you can see, this used to be lush and green homes for so many animals. And now look, completely destroyed. When you look at these trees burned down and you look at this barren landscape, you can't say that climate change doesn't exist. I'm feeling sad, but I know like how I'm fighting for the animals. Climate change has made these disasters so much more ferocious and more frequent. This is a, just a tea party appetizer to what's gonna happen if we don't change our behavior, particularly changing agriculture and switching from animal agriculture to plant-based agriculture. That's the most important thing we can do. Today, I learned a lot about like what climate change looks like and, and I learned about the animals that were saved. Now it makes me think like, more like of why it's so important to get people to go vegan because if they don't, then more like wildfires are gonna happen and the planet will be destroyed. I'm doing a letter for the Pope and I'm trying to get him to go vegan for Lent. <laughs> ah, I love it. Yeah. I love it because the Pope has talked a lot about compassionate animals. He's named after St. Francis of Assisi, who is the patron saint of all animals. And so I know he has a good heart. If anybody could convince the Pope to go vegan, <laughs> it's you. <laughs> this does make me want to show this mission, this mission to the Pope even more because I know if he knows more people will follow and that can help reverse global warming. <laughs>